So it's a bright and sunny Monday morning. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Joy News Interactive. Now we're live on the Joy News channel on Multi TV as well as on the Go and DSTV channels. And you can find us on Facebook and on WhatsApp and on Twitter. On Facebook, we're at Joy News on TV, uh, Twitter too, the same, Joy News on TV or at Joy News Interactive uh, GH and on WhatsApp our line is 0560800000. Well it's time to get this show on the road. Yesterday the NPP manifesto was launched with pomp, with pageantry and yes with Calipo. The supporters and bigwigs alike all, you know, participated in the hashtag Calipo challenge and took the opportunity to take a sip of the drink and also take some pictures. Now, please go onto our Facebook page at Joy News on TV. We've posted, you know, four of the most so far creative hashtag Calipo pictures and we're asking you to vote on them. So go on right now and go pick your favorite or you can send us a, a Calipo picture that you think should definitely have made the cut. But whilst you're doing that, the Joy News Interactive team was out and about and was asking you the most memorable moments that you had from the NPP Manifesto launch. Take a look. I learned a few out of it and uh, I analyzed a lot. He said he was going to abolish the student utility payment system so students are not going to pay utility bills on campus. Um, he's going to bring back the allowances of um, nurses and teachers trainees. He's also going to bring the free SHS education and bring uh, accident centers that uh, will be introduced in the hospitals, especially in the Western region. Or let's take free SHS. The NDC made it vulnerably clear that they did not believe in it. They did not like the idea, and they rubbished it at every opportunity. It is not surprising, therefore, that they've been having such a hard time trying to run their watered-down version of free SHS. In other words, it helps to believe in something, to spend time and energy to think it through, and to get passionate and competent people to lead in the implementation of the program. One thing I heard was one calipo, one vote. And then it's very funny because how can you say one calipo, one vote? Like seriously, so you're buying my vote with one calipo or what? I don't know. That's very funny. That's very something that I remember. So that's I like calipo. I got the, I love calipo only because of Nana Kufodo and Baumia. Yes. And the change is not coming. The change has come. Uh, the most memorable thing I heard about the leader of the NPP saying is when he expressed himself uh, concerning with the youth, especially the carpenters, you work their whole life without retirement. So, and he has emphasized about the youth employment store. So the, all these things is, I think is a high profile issue which is lacking in Ghana. So if he can be able to do that, we will be very happy for that. Carpenters, artisans, professionals, industrialists, hairdressers and, take, and tailors, and everybody trying to earn a living, to feel their efforts are appreciated and they're able to prosper in their chosen fields. And those were some of your most memorable moments from the NPP manifesto launch, which happened here in Accra at the Accra International Trade Fair Center. You can send us your messages on your most memorable moments on 0560800000. That's on WhatsApp. Facebook, that's on Joy News on TV. Speaking of which, let's check out what messages have been pouring in so far. Billy writing, please, can you kindly ask the two major parties, NDC and MPP, why they did not include anything relating to solving accommodation problems of our security services, especially the police in their manifestos? 
or the votes of the security services doesn't matter to them. And uh, you continued and you said, well, uh, you, you are hoping that they would resolve that issue as quickly as possible. Well, whilst the rest of the Facebook messages are coming in, here's some other WhatsApp messages. Uh, here's Ora from Konongo saying, when they said taxes are going to be brought down because I can't pay ECG bills and collapsing my business and that was for you the most memorable um here we go yakubu ibn chambers from wale wale writing the entire npp manifesto launch was memorable but what caught my attention was the modest calm and measured nature of the program i could not see a show of opulence and extravagance as at the last a manifesto launch which the ndc did bayan from tamale writing i will vote for mpp to bring back teachers and nursing trainee allowances in the development of ghana because this government has collapsed them well that's your opinion and keep sending us yours on zero five six zero eight hundred thousand now um a couple more messages on facebook mahama bakujo writing the good lord is always there for everybody old man in 2006 your party was hijacking all networks here in ghana all in the name of power the monies your party pays to people to vote for you you're now talking of the battle is the lord the lord was there when you were sharing money in 208 and that's kojo's opinion ratson for him the most memorable was another election campaign event labeled a manifesto launch nothing comparable to the well articulated manifesto of the nda uh robert mensa also i'm for change Leonardo can make mother ghana work again under his leadership come 7th december and remember to cast your vote isa aldu um for him the most memorable was when professor frimpong boating had to cut short his speech and ask for water instead of kalipu because he received the shock of <laughs> the hashtag jm twasu feeling wow okay that's that is another interesting one. Amidu Razak, the presentation on science and innovation by Professor Kwabna from Pom Boating and uh, Apia Kubi Williams saying, waving the Ghana flag during the launch. For him, that was awesome. Um, another message here coming in, uh, Odia Sempa from Obokwe writing, one vote, one calipo. Oh my gosh, Ghana is getting interesting by the day nana all the way so keep on sending us your messages your most memorable moment from the npp manifesto launch which took place yesterday here in accra now you know we're still in the election season we have just about two months a little over 60 days before we go to the polls and as we know if you're 18 years and above voting is your civic duty well one police superintendent in the central region is taking it one step further superintendent isaac amekuzi of the esikuma uh, odobing brakwa district in the central region has threatened all voters who for whatever reason have decided not to vote with arrest let me take that again if for any reason you are in that district and you are not voting and the superintendent catches you he will probably arrest you now there's an interesting twist to this story because current ec chair charlotte Osei is on record as having saying that she herself is not casting a vote in this year's election so at this point i don't really know how superintendent abekuzi is going to do this is he going to i don't know let me not dwell go into the land of speculation we asked you what you thought of the superintendent's edict and this is what you had to say that is what the law says and uh, definitely it's not everyone that will vote when it comes to voting i think uh, it's a matter of choice. See, it's a matter of choice for the individual, though it's necessary. It's, uh, maybe the constitution has mandated everybody to vote. But going out on that day uh, is a choice of the person to decide whether he or she want to go and vote or not. So that's what I think. As for me, I have opportunity to say, take my decision. Because 
as for the policies of the party, when I was thinking about when they come to power, they have different kind of opinions because if maybe, for instance, the policy can benefit me and my sisters and my family, so there's no need for me to vote. But if I think the policy and everything is all right for me, then I just vote for the party where I want it. But they can't just come and arrest me. If you are not good, they have to arrest you. But it's not necessary because I have my own authority or my own right to do it, whatever I like it. And naturally, I haven't heard it myself. But if it is true, uh, and it is in the constitution that if you haven't voted, you should be arrested or something like that, then they have to go ahead and do it. Because for the voting, I know that is for a qualified Ghanaian who is sound-minded to vote. Actually, if you refuse to vote and your candidate lose the election, will you, and things are not going well with you, will you complain? In actual fact, if you are a footballer and you've been asked to go and play a football match for your team, you refuse to go and your team has been uh, de de defeated, will you complain? You have to blame your own self. So as for the voting, I think, I don't know why someone to say I will not vote. Because either you vote or not, we are all in uh, Ghana. Anything that goes well, it goes well for us all. Like, according to me, it's bad. Because it's not compulsory to, to vote. And also it's not compulsory that maybe no voting to arrest someone. And even most uh, people use the, the card for, for banking to take money at the bank. And those were some of your views on Superintendent Ahmed Kuzi's um, threat or edict that those who do not perform their civic duty, you know, he's actually threatening or warning them with an arrest. Before we go for a very quick break, let's just check out some of your messages on Facebook. Alex Kwam is in shock. Really? Which aspects of the national constitution make voting compulsory? This policeman should not infect the people with his ignorance. You can only appeal to people but cannot compel anyone to go and vote. You Yusuf adds, but Mr. Policeman, Whose regime were you recruit, recruited on as a police? What certificate did they consider in your recruitment? Uh, sorry, Mr. Policeman, Commander, you can start the arrest now. Barian says, this statement seems to come from the mouth of someone who has never been to school. Ouch. Sickness can prevent someone from voting. Travel can also prevent a voter from voting. Migration can also be a factor. Even per common sense, how do you trace and arrest someone who has not voted. So many of your views and comments coming in on these issues, the most memorable moment you've had from the MPP manifesto launch and this uh, compulsion, or rather this edict from the superintendent in the Odobing uh, Brakwa, Brakwa district saying, saying that you know he's you know encouraging people to go and vote and adding that if they don't there is the threat of an arrest hanging over their necks now join news interactive takes a quick break keep those messages coming in we'll be right back So you're still watching Joy News Interactive live on the Joy News channel. Now we've been talking about some pretty hot issues for a hot and sunny Monday morning. We were looking at the NPP manifesto launch and what were your most memorable moments from there. Uh, we're also still continuing our hashtag Calipo Challenge photo competition. We've got four really creative pictures on the Facebook page. Go on, take a look and choose your best one. Or you can even send us one that you think is super, super creative and should have made the top four. And the issue from the central region, from the police superintendent who is asking people, you know, encouraging people to go and vote. And he's also added a small edict, the threat of an arrest if you do not Carry out your civic duty. Let's take out some, check out some of your messages on Facebook concerning this. Joshua Norte saying, 
concert thing. They will not arrest the corruption in the country, but rather individuals who do not wish to vote. Uh, in that case, the whole prison in this nation would be filled up. Joshua, you are not amused by this at all. So I'm just going to ask you to keep your language as clean as possible so I can read it out. Derek Wesley, how can you be arrested when you decide not to vote? A, where is the freedom and the rights of individuals? Hmm. Dunkhill Kwame Mausi Dogbe writing, not voting and spoiling the ballot paper. Which one is good? I love Ghana and Africa as a whole, but I hate politics and elections is part of it. Definitely your opinion. Keep sending them to us on our Facebook page, Joy News on TV, and on WhatsApp 0560. 800,000. Billy are writing, I believe he was joking and the media decided to take it like World Cup. Oh, I see. Big Sam T. Ha, laughing out loud, concert parties, it by force. None of these politicians will put money in my pocket. Hanny Morris, wow, fine case. Come on, go and arrest the electoral commissioner. She said she'll not vote. And that really is the, the tricky issue with this whole uh, conversation. Rain B. Jonah, every moment the police service gets, it makes a joke of itself. Not a very fair statement, actually, because, you know, they are doing their best right now, you know, to keep the country safe and the run up to the elections. But, you know, that's your opinion. And I respect you for that. Eshau Abdul Mumin says, I think they should start building more prisons and cells because I'm not voting. How? Hmm. I can't think far. A couple more. A couple more on WhatsApp as well. KKJ from Kantaman says, yes, they should be arrested because the EC invested money into that purposely for voting, not for bank transactions. And after conducting such an exercise of voter registration, one then says he or she won't vote. How? Some of us are also causing financial loss to the state in one way or the other. And um, here's a message coming in on the NPP manifesto launch. Anthony Kusi from Secondary Takrade writing, It was fantastic. This year is Nana Kufuado's time. NPP all the way. And on Joy News Interactive, we had to make a very very tough decision. The team behind Joy News Interactive had to sit and sift through the mounds of creative photos of people, you know, taking part in the hashtag Calipo challenge and we had to put up the top four. It was tough. Believe me, we almost came to blows over it. We want you to go check out the pictures on our Facebook page. Check out your number one and let us know why that was. Or you can send us a picture of somebody participating in the hashtag Calipo Challenge, you know, and tell us, okay, this one was actually the most creative. But you know, this whole thing started because the NPP presidential aspirant was caught taking a sip of the drink on his way from one rally to the other. And so because of the manifesto which happened yesterday, we put together a quick slideshow of all the NPP bigwigs who had some Calipo yesterday. Just take a look.
were some pictures uh, from the MPP manifesto launch. You know, all the, you know, most of the MPP big wigs caught participating in the hashtag Calipo challenge. And some of the pictures that the Joy News Interactive team had to choose from to choose, you know, the number one Calipo hashtag Calipo challenge photo. See how difficult it was? Calipo as a drip. Calipo used to charge an iPhone. An iPhone. Calipo used pound fufu. Calipo used in a car. I mean, Ghanaians, we are so creative. We are so, 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 so creative. There's even one that I saw. Calipo, uh, they've designed a filling station and they put Calipo all over it. Some pictures also coming in here. Um, a gentleman drinking Calipo from what looks like a Calipo branded water tanker. Um, a young woman here using Calipo as a phone. She's actually got, you know, the box to her ear like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's enjoying herself. But let's see on Facebook which one you chose. Um, on the screen we have the Calipo in the bed lying comfortably and a gentleman lying on the floor. You can see he really cherishes his drink. We also have Calipo used as an eye drop. Calipo as an ivy drip. And Calipo for an iPhone. Calipo, the hashtag Calipo challenge. Well, Noabete about it writing. Well, it's good to talk about it, but I think we should be looking more on the manifesto that was launched yesterday. You're adding that you like Joy News Interactive. Indeed, we've been talking about the manifesto this morning, so you can also send us your points on that. What was the most memorable one for you right now? Ernest Jamal Salom, he's wondering, hmm, I wonder how much it would have cost Calipo to advertise their products here. Uh, but because, okay, uh, I'm not going to read that. I'm not going to read anything with any bad language this morning. It's Monday. Let's start it on a good note. However, you're, you're noting that it's gone viral because of, you know, a joke. Dorcas Tando, she's, she's wondering, what's all this Calipo thing? I beg, let's get serious. Um, Louise Bruce adding, you, my friends, are jokers. We never concentrate on anything serious. And as you can see, everybody has something to say about the Calipo challenge except you're not voting jennifer clements adding i'm enjoying it nothing wrong with a little laughter the bible says laughter is good like medicine god's sweet spetelinia says seeing these pictures make me happy and i choose the first pick and the first pick is of the gentleman lying on the floor with the calipo on the bed and uh, the hashtag Calipo photo challenge. And that's how we're wrapping up Joy News Interactive this morning. Thank you so much for your time and your company. On behalf of the entire Joy News Interactive team, my name is Jennifer Ikwamwa. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.